Hello there. In this video, I want to show you how to use connection object in MicroStrategy Python SDK. A connection object manages your connection of your client to MicroStrategy. So in, in order to create a connection object, you need to have a, um, the base URL pointing to MicroStrategy library REST API. Uh, you also need to have a username and password. You are using a name uh, authentication. Um, the project ID is optional. If you don't have a project ID, it will create an object. Later, you can select the project. So let's try to do this. In this demo, I'm going to um, in include the uh, method get connection method and the connection class from a Mysterio connection package module. The project I'm going to connect is MicroStrategy tutorial uh, with this ID and uh, the server REST API I'm going to use is from the demo environment. Make sure you have a, a API at the end. So that's how the MicroStrategy uh, Mysterio Pi uh, use. So let's create a first, you can create a connection object use uh, credentials. So here I'm going to use uh, base URL, name, password, and project ID, and I mean specify login mode to be one. So let's run this. Now I have connecting objects, and after I connect, have a connecting object, and I can, I can inspect the connecting object. Let's try to see the username on the connecting object. So I'm going to call username on the connecting object. You can see it's a guest. I can also check the login mode, which is one. This is for standard authentication. I can also use uh, um, um, anonymous authentication. So if you use anonymous authentication, you don't need to specify username and password. So let's try run this one. So now, right, the connection object is also connected. If I check login mode here, it's, you see it's eight and username will be no username because this is uh, anonymous. If you are running, uh, the Python on the workstation, there's another way for you to create a connection object. You can call get connection, um, passing the workstation data, and the workstation data will be provided when you run this Python in MicroStrategy workstation. And you can also specify a project name. If you don't specify a project name, you can still uh, get a connection. So let's try this on MicroStrategy workstation. So uh, go to, after you log into the environment, you can click here to create a new script. So let's see, I'm going to create a new script here. I'm going to use some, I'm going to run this. Okay, so it's print out a bunch of stuff here. So first it's to creating the connected object once it's connected. Uh, once it's connected, it will print out this connection with MicroStrategy Intelligence Server has been delegated. Then, um, then we're going to um, call the, uh, get a login mode, which is one. And then the use of name, and this is a token, and this is the uh, version. I'm, I'm using a MicroStrategy uh, 2021 update seven. So this is OS mode, my right? login mode. And project ID, before I change your project ID, this is none. And then after I select the project ID, this print out the project ID. So this is how you can create a session in uh, MacRG uh, workstation, Python code in workstation, and also not in workstation. Uh, if you see any error, you can check the log from, if I close, hmm, let's see, if I close this, if you got any error, you can find the error log from here. So you can see the error log here. Okay, all right. Uh, so let's go back to the notebook. Uh, in the notebook, we can also we can also inspect what what uh, what's possible in the connection object. So let's look at the documentation. So this is documentation on this. Uh, you can you have some properties. Uh, you can check the properties. You can check what are the methods available here. So I see there's a close method here. There's a close method. Uh, there's a renew method. There's some other method, project name. Uh, so uh, 
from this list, you can check whether this is a method by calling this callable using this function callable. So it will tell you this is the function. So now I can use this, right? This status is also a function. I can check the status of the session. I can also close the session. Uh, I will do action dot close. It will close the session. It says close session. If I try to use it again, uh, oops, if I try to use it again, it doesn't give me any. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, status check the status you say this is closed it's not active mm -hmm. okay another thing i want to show you is if you are trying to use a uh, uh, self-signed certificate and you don't have a uh, HTTPS set up you can specify uh, this ssl verify to be false so it will bypass the ssl certification uh, validation so you can use self side. You can also, you can also, uh, if you are using proxy, you can also specify a uh, proxy, proxy information here. Uh, you can look at a uh, uh, look and look up the documentation from the uh, connection method. So if I let's print out the connection, uh, if I print out the connection dot need I uh, dot needs doc it will print out the uh, documentation for this method so this construction uh, constructor so proxy is a dictionary it's optional so if you want to use um, proxy you can specify uh, a dictionary for the proxy you can uh, you should have a http and some uh, uh, key http and this is a proxy HTTP key. Yeah, so you can look up the documentation for how to use the proxy. All right. Uh, okay, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.